Hello and welcome to Scratch Chemistry. In this video, we will discuss about one of the important reaction related to phenol, that is Kolbe-Skinth reaction. So, what is Kolbe-Skinth reaction? The definition: It is a type of carboxylation reaction where phenol is converted into salicylic acid by treatment with carbon dioxide under six atmosphere pressure at 125 degree Celsius. In presence of base and followed by acid hydrolysis. So long. So write the definition in part. You can remember the definition. Also, by doing reaction mechanism, you can write the definition in your language only. Okay. So write the definition first. It is a type of carboxylation reaction. Carboxylation reaction means. CO2 minus ion group will be attached. Carboxylation reaction where we are studying phenol. Phenol reaction. So phenol, starting metal phenol is converted. Phenol will be converted into salicylic acid. Salicylic acid. Okay. Bye. Treatment by treatment treatment with carbon dioxide CO2 carbon dioxide temperature at 125 degree Celsius okay not particularly 125 degree Celsius we can take any other temperature above 100 or 18 80 to 150 degree Celsius at 125 degree Celsius under 6 atmosphere pressure 6 atmosphere pressure in presence of base in presence of base sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide you can take in presence of base and followed by acid hydrolysis H plus water or H3O plus you can take followed by acid hydrolysis okay so this is the definition so just write the definition in a reaction so next is the reaction point rxn reaction so in reaction starting material what we have phenol 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 is converted into what salicylic acid what is the structure of salicylic acid OH C O H. This is the structure of salicylic acid. Okay. So, what are the reagents? What is used here? In first step, sodium hydroxide base, base or sodium hydroxide here. Sodium hydroxide. Let us suppose take. In the second step, carbon dioxide carbon dioxide at 125 degree celsius 125 degree celsius and 6 atmosphere pressure 6 8 atmosphere small atm okay and in the next step last step followed by acid hydrolysis in the third step acid hydrolysis okay so starting material phenol this is phenol converted into salicylic acid this is salicylic acid okay where is salicylic acid phenol is converted into salicylic acid in presence of by treatment with co2 at 125 degree celsius and six atmosphere pressure but before that we have to give base so why we will study in the mechanism so base sodium hydroxide in presence of base and in the second step carbon dioxide at 125 degrees celsius and 6 atmosphere carbon dioxide at 125 degrees celsius and 6 atmosphere pressure and at the last step acid hydrolysis followed by acid hydrolysis this one here okay so this is the reaction next important is mechanism okay mechanism write the mechanism 
This is a starting material phenol. Take phenol as starting material. Or draw like this one. Anyway, you can write. This is phenol. Okay, starting material. To this phenol, we are using base. Let us suppose sodium hydroxide. So, what is the role of prime role of base? It will abstract hydrogen. This hydrogen is acidic. Sodium hydroxide or OH minus takes this hydrogen to form phenoxide ion. So OH minus takes this hydrogen and this bond moves over to oxygen O minus. So this is so minus water will re release and this is O minus and counterpart remaining here Na plus O minus Na plus. Here water releases OH minus takes the hydrogen water releases. This is phenoxide ion sodium phenoxide you can say. So first step that is why we are using base to increase the reactivity of phenol to phenoxide ion. Phenoxide ion is more reactive than phenol that is why we are using base in the first step. So in the second step CO2 carbon dioxide. Okay. So carbon dioxide structure C double bond O double bond O. This is the structure of carbon dioxide at 125 degrees Celsius and 6 atm pressure. Okay, so what will happen here? Simple nucleophilic addition of CO2 group to phenoxide ion takes place. How this O minus gives electron to the ring through resonance and this bond attack to now this carbon. Okay, and one of the bond moves over to oxygen. Simple. So what it will form now? Double bond here, double bond here. Here now double bond form C double bond O. Okay. And this bond, ortho position, this bond attack to carbon, attached to carbon, and one bond moves over to oxygen, so O minus, and here double bond O. Easy. And the O minus Na plus counterpart here, O minus Na plus. Easy. In the next step, what will happen? Now this, now this product is not stable. Okay. Just do it here. I will take one example this side. Entrance example. So, in the next step, what will happen? Here is one hydrogen, okay, and this compound is not stable at this step because it is not aromaticity now. So, this hydrogen take part in tautomerization step to restore aromaticity or to regenerate aromaticity, okay. This is the tautomerization step. So, I will write the steps at, la at last. So, how, what is the product form now? Here is one new bond form. So again re restore or regenerate aromaticity here. So this bond moves out to oxygen as O minus eh? o, o minus and H tautomerization step. Na? OH here C double bond O and O minus Na plus. Okay. So in the next step, what we are doing? Followed by acid hydrolysis. Acid hydrolysis you can write as H plus water or simple H3O plus you can write or this is or 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 H plus water or H3O plus you can write. The H plus here is O minus. O minus takes the hydrogen. Okay, it's by doing acid hydrolysis. The O minus takes the hydrogen to form OH. O minus takes this hydrogen. OH and here C double bond O, OH. Okay, this is the what? Salicylic acid from phenol. So what are the steps involved? In the first, this is suppose step one, and from here to here, step two, from here to here, step three, and from here to here, step four. Four steps involves. What are the steps, right? Step one. In step one, what happened? Just base takes the hydrogen to form phenoxide ion. Or you can write it as formation of phenoxide ion. Formation of phenoxide ion by sodium hydroxide or deprotonation step you can write it as. Okay. In the step 2, what happened in step 2? Here the nucleophilic addition of CO2 to the phenoxide ion, sodium phenoxide. You can write the nucleophilic addition, 
न्यूक्लियोफिलिक एडिशन ऑफ सी ओ टू टू फिनोक्साइड आयन ओके फिनोक्साइड आयन इन द स्टेप थ्री व्हाट एपन स्टेप थ्री स्टेप थ्री व्हाट एपन हियर टोटोमराइजेशन स्टेप टू रिस्टोर आरोमाटिसिटी और टू रिजेनरेट आरोमाटिसिटी ओके स्टेप थ्री आज टोटोमराइजेशन टोटोमराइजेशन स्टेप टू रिस्टोर आरोमाटिसिटी और री आरोमाटिसिटी स्टेप यू कैन राइट री आरोमाटिसिटी स्टेप अगेन नेक्स्ट स्टेप फोर दिस इज स्टेप फोर स्टेप फोर व्हाट एपन स्टेप फोर जस्ट प्रोटोनेशन स्टेप टू फॉर्म सालिसिक एसिड स्टेप फोर यू कैन राइट एज प्रोटोनेशन प्रोटोनेशन स्टेप टू फॉर्म वट सालिसिक एसिड सालिसिक एसिड ओके सो दीज आर द फोर स्टोर स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन कॉलबेस के रिएक्शन to synthesize salicylic acid from phenol so let us take an example from entrance corner example from entrance corner it is given like this structure okay oh another oh is here and here ch3 and the reagents it has given the first step sodium hydroxide in the second co2 carbon dioxide at 100 degree celsius 6 atm pressure and ch3cn here ch3cn acetonitrile is a solvent here in step 3 s3o plus s3o plus or h plus water acid hydrolysis okay or so by seeing the reagents and the starting metal phenol type structures you can analyze this question is taken from kolbes kimth reaction so what are the options they had given number o, a, a a option is like oh oh coh ch3 so coh carboxylation step so coh coh group will be attached in the option b it has given OH, OH, CS3 here, COH. Okay, and in option C, OH, OH, uh, CS3, COH. Okay, in option D. Okay. CS3 OH OH CO OH Okay so what is the right answer among these four options So first discard the options which is not correct totally So here the CS3 group here but look at this option the CS3 group is moving to this position in the option B so it is not possible the option b is incorrect now there are three option okay so now look at this position this is meta position this is ortho this is meta and this is para so oh group is a ortho para deriving group not meta deriving group so at meta position coh group cannot held at meta position okay so this option a also incorrect so between option c and d which is correct so look at each step so sodium hydroxide it is a base it will abstract hydrogen so there are two hydroxyl group which hydrogen will be taken by the sodium hydroxide okay so this is this step is important this oh and this oh the oh group or the, the the hydrogen which will be more acidic it will be taken by the base okay between this oh this oh two oh groups which is more acidic so this oh and this oh which is more acidic the acidic one is this one because 
look at the structure one cs3 group cs3 is a electron donating group which is attached to the oh group here near to the oh group okay the presence of electron donating group to the oh group decreases the acidity of the hydrogen atom attached in oh why so this cs3 group electron donating group it donates electron to the oh group here so makes the oh bond more stronger and loss of proton becomes difficult in this oh group so sodium hydroxide takes hydrogen from this oh group so it will form sodium phenoxide type structure so now it has two ortho position okay so coh group which is attached to the ortho position okay of the oh group so two sides are preferable to attach coh group okay carboxylate ion group so which side is pre more preferable this side or this side okay and this side if coh group attaches this side this ortho group then there will be an steric hindrance between ortho oh and coh group here and oh so this side you will not be preferable side so the remaining side is this side only the coh group will be attached ortho group to ortho group to the oh group here coh will be attached here the answer is option c okay and option d is incorrect the, because here you will find steric hindrance between oh coh and here oh so option c is correct at ortho position of this coh oh group the coh group will be attached also this coh group is para to this oh group that is why it is a main product or the right answer to this question okay this is all about today's class take a screenshot in your mobile to make your note or to prepare your note take a screenshot in your mobile as soon as possible okay guys see you in the next class stay happy stay healthy